Video tonight shows two men wanted in connection with the murder of a 15-year-old student in Brooklyn. Samuel Joseph was shot to death yesterday in the entryway of an apartment building in Flatbush. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim has the story. Joe and Sandra, cops are looking into the possibility that this 15-year-old boy was not the intended target. He was innocent. And tonight, cops are releasing evidence that they hope will catch his killers. Images captured by that camera. These are the suspects cops are searching for in the deadliest shooting that took the life of a teenager last night, 15-year-old Samuel Joseph. Tonight, just steps from where he drew his last breath. Messages of love surround his image. A picture of him holding a basketball. He was just a kid. His mother today gasping for air from the suffocating pain of her loss. Her older brother Don says his brother had no enemies. So was a good kid, you know, go to school like every other kid. It happened that his Flatbush Avenue apartment just before 6 p.m. Friday shot twice, once in the head, once in his torso. At the tattoo shop next door, workers say they heard multiple shots and then cries of horror. His mother, you know, was screaming. It was very sad, to be honest with you. Elected officials say surveillance video they watched from next door shows one suspect acting as a lookout as the other fired those shots. What do you say to a mother uh, who lost her child at 15 years old? Take another close look at the images of the suspects released by the NYPD. Investigators believe one of them is 15 to 18 years old. The second suspect, seen here wearing red Adidas sweatpants with white stripes, is believed to be 18 to 25 years old. 15-year-old Samuel Joseph lived on the second floor of this building on Flatbush Avenue. He was found by police, shot and killed in his lobby. In Brooklyn, Stefan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.